With this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how to digitize a simple embroidery design using running stitches. Along the way, I will introduce you to jump stitch connecting and embroidery objects. If you haven't already done so, please review my basic videos 1 to 4, as these cover most of the topics I am now going to demonstrate. So, let's get started with the image to digitize. I'm going to digitize a simple Celtic design at about 10 by 10 centimeters. Let's position the image and set its transparency to about 50%. I'm also going to lock the image to the worksheet. Let's start the digitizing by creating and shaping our outlines. You might have noticed that this is a simple fourfold repeating pattern, so we only need to digitize one quarter of it to start with. Ok, that's done, so now let's change the outlines to running stitches. At the moment, these are simple one stitch leaders from the red starting point to the blue end point. Now it's time for an embroidery object. In SophieSo, an embroidery object is defined as a collection of embroidery elements. In this case, that means all the stitches we have just digitized. To create one, we simply put the worksheet in layout mode and then select all the stitches. Notice our nice blue rectangle. Now, right click on any of the elements and select embroidery object options and combine into a single embroidery object from the pop-up menu. Our selection rectangle should now turn green. SophieSo has a special tab for embroidery objects in the inspector. Give it a click and then select the design icon. You will now see a list of all the elements that are in your new embroidery design. Selecting them will show all the design jump stitches. As you can see, there are a lot of jump stitches. 
This is because Sophie so stitches each element in the list in turn before jumping to the next one. Thankfully there is a way to tidy this up through Sophie Saw's Jump Connection tool. Let's place the worksheet back into edit mode and select the Jump Stitch tool. Note how the running stitches have now dimmed. Let's click on the stitch we want to join from and again to bring up the pop-up menu. We are going to select Make Normal Link Connection. Now select the stitch we are going to connect to. Clicking will now make the connection. As you can see the new jump stitch is entirely configurable. Let's do this again but this time select make end jump link connection. Note with this option the jump stitch is automatically positioned at the beginning or end of the running stitch. Now let's carry on and connect the rest of the design. Note that when you connect a running stitch you are effectively creating a leading and return stitch superimposed and blended one on top of the other. This will give the impression of halving the stitch pitch of any running stitches that you connect. Please bear this in mind when digitizing. At this point let's have a recap. We have now digitized about one quarter of the design using running stitches. We have also connected them together so that they will stitch out with one entry and one exit point. Now let's zoom into the design. These two points here represent sharp changes in the running stitch direction and are suffering from a slight phase distortion in the leading and return stitches that go into making a connected running stitch. In Sophie Saw you can correct for this by selecting the stitch in edit mode then right clicking it and selecting force stitch at this point. Now repeat for the rest of the simple design. Ok, I'm now going to finish digitizing the design using techniques demonstrated in this and previous tutorials.
And there we have it, a simple Celtic design using basic running stitches. But why stop there? With an extra half an hour and some simple digitised embellishment, you can achieve so much more with Sophie Saw. Let's load up the final worksheet. These are the finished designs. And these are the digitised bits and bobs I used to make them. Notice how Sofiso allows you to unleash your creative juices by digitising, duplicating and laying out your embroidery designs all next to each other, all in the same workspace. Ok, in my next tutorial I will cover the basics of column stitching in Sofiso. Thank you for watching.